Welcome back on this Friday morning. Tomorrow is going to be a very important day. Tomorrow we have a very high wildfire danger risk in place because we are expecting some stronger winds. So please make sure that you're keeping that in the forefront as you're going about your day or planning out your activities for tomorrow. Let's talk about the winds. I started it right around midday tomorrow. By that point in time, our winds will easily be gusting 30 to 35 miles per hour. We're expecting gusts to push up to about 40 miles per hour tomorrow during the afternoon hours. This is around 4 p.m. and then we'll notice them weekend for tomorrow night. Now this will be coupled with low relative humidity values of percentages into the 30s tomorrow afternoon. Also with very dry conditions, we've had this dry spell. The month of September has been unusually dry and now the drought has expanded. This is latest data as per yesterday. The update is now a category three, uh, so severe drought conditions now across the south and eastern half of the EP highlighted in that orange shade. Some drought conditions have also expanded now to include the Keweenaw at, under abnormally dry conditions. So our soil is very, very dry and we do need some rain. But in the meantime, as that drought has worsened and we have those stronger winds tomorrow, please factor in the fact that we have those conditions. Don't do any brush burning, please follow burn restrictions that might be put in place in your local areas. When are we going to get rain? We're going to get rain tomorrow night into Sunday, but it's not super promising as far as amounts. At around a quarter of an inch of rain to potentially half of an inch of rain across the far eastern areas of the UP. That's what we're expecting. So let's time it out here for you. Dry today, dry tomorrow, great sunshine for tomorrow, getting outdoors. Here's the frontal boundary. Tomorrow evening, this is 8.30 in the evening as it approaches the western UP. By about midnight, it's in the central counties. It pushes east during the overnight hours and it's gone by Sunday morning. Now, now behind the frontal boundary, cooler air moves in. And then we're expecting some lake effect rain to form behind it. Spotty to scattered lake effect throughout the course of the daytime hours, mainly for our northern and eastern areas of the EP on Sunday. So Sunday is going to feel way more typical like fall and like October with a little bit more cloud cover, cooler air, as well as some scattered rain showers. Now this morning, it is a quiet one, cool 48 degrees in downtown Marquette with a west wind of around three miles per hour. Expect low 60s north, mid 60s in the south today and a great opportunity a great day tomorrow or to today tomorrow to check out some of that fall color. So as far as changes for fall colors, uh, we've had it around 80% change along the Wisconsin state line, 60 to 80% change with those fall colors in the west and central areas around 30 to around 60% change color change across the eastern counties. Tomorrow another warm day in the 60s, but again behind the rain in that front, we have cooler air coming in for Sunday. So putting us in the 50s for Sunday after afternoon 50s for Monday Tuesday as well. Sunday might be a really great day to do fall activities like pick out your pumpkin, do a little pumpkin carving, maybe add some apple cider to those fun activities. Today's pets waiting for forever homes are at Eva Burrell Animal Shelter in Manistee.